Holy cow, it's been like a month since I've done a video. It's time for a channel update, so let's do one. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm back. Hello, YouTube. It's been about a month, so a lot of things going on, and I can't wait to tell you guys some of the things about it. So first of all, welcome to my channel. My name is Paul. This is my channel where nerdy is cool. And 3D printing, R2D2 building, BB-8 building, Batman suit, you name it, I'm into it. That's my thing. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. If you aren't a subscriber and you should be, hit the button down below plus the bell so you're notified when I release new videos. So that said, where has Paul been? Well, I don't share a lot about my private life uh, on YouTube or Facebook or anything like that, but some of the things that have been going on have been very exciting and I'm anxious to share them with you. So for the last four years, I have worked as an IT guy uh, at my local university, where basically I was the online learning uh, admin guy. I have the online learning system we have over there is Blackboard, and uh, so I was the admin for that, and anything that came in for like help desk tickets or issues or upgrades, that was my job. And I've been doing IT for 23, 24 years now. And as many of you guys, because you guys are nerdy like I am, uh, are IT guys as well. And at some point you kind of drum your fingers and go, that's a good job, but it's not really where my passion is. So something neat happened to me. I had an opportunity to uh, work where my passion is, which is 3D printing. Uh, I actually had two job offers kind of hit at the same time. There was a back and forth between which one will I do? Do I take this new IT position or do I jump into this 3D printing one? And you just gotta go where the passion is, right? So now I am a 3D um, print lab manager. It's a brand new position they created and uh, they have me in there. So basically what I'm doing is taking stock of the printers they have, figuring out what needs to be upgraded, uh, essentially managing them because uh, they've got a lot of people that need to use these devices and uh, some of these printers need someone to take ownership so that they're upgraded, make sure they're working properly, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So as my first full-time position in the 3D printing world, it's very exciting. I'm very, very happy about this. And of course, like any other new position, I'm completely scared and confused and trying to figure out how all those processes work at a new job. So the first two weeks have basically been a wash of all that new hire training and, and stuff, you know, safety and et cetera. And this new position, um, they sent me off to training with some other staff members. Uh, we flew out to uh, the Ingersoll plant in uh, just outside of Chicago. And can't say too much about what we were doing over there, but we were definitely training and learning on some pretty high-tech equipment. And I know the uh, curtain will be coming off the uh, project we're working on pretty soon. I believe we're gonna be having a big reveal in early October, and at that point, I'll be able to share a video with you and all kinds of information about some of the amazing things I'm working on. So it's exciting times for me, new opportunities, and uh, what can you say? I mean, when you have an opportunity to work in a career field, which is something that you really have a huge interest in, 3D printing, etc., cetera, um, sometimes you gotta take a chance and run with it. So that's what I'm doing. So the channel has been doing very well. We're, uh, I mean, for a small channel, I mean, I'm continuing to see growth in subscribers, so I'm really happy with that. I'm getting a lot of good comments about the videos I've created. Happy to know that many people out there have found the videos I've created useful, so we're definitely gonna keep that train rolling. The TiVo Tornado, the FT6, the other CR10, and uh, I got eight printers over here that still need varying levels of upgrades. We're gonna continue those. Uh, now that Marlin 2.0 seems to be the new cool thing, I've been asking my friend Keith Bennett, hey, help me, help me figure this out here. I've been away for a little while. So in the next upcoming videos on my roster of videos to do, I uh, definitely want to do Marlin 2.0, uh, maybe an SKR 1.3, 32-bit uh, boards, stuff like that. That'd be something I'd like to do in my, the FT6. Uh, I just ordered some new parts for that. And, uh, and of course, I have a pile of parts for the TiVo just waiting for me to sit down and focus and do it. But whereas I've just started the new job and just came back from all this travel, um, I just wanted to get a video out to let people know that I'm still around, I have not died, and I still love 3D printing, and you do have new videos coming out soon. So <laughs> that's what's going on. So sorry for such a short video, but again, I just wanted to reach out because I've been getting some questions. People have been asking on Facebook and Instagram and, and YouTube sending me messages saying, what's up? What's going on? So this is what's going on. It's all good. 
I think you'll find it's worth the wait, and uh, I look forward to being able to show you guys some more cool videos of some of the things I'm working on at my full-time job, as well as what I'm working on here in the 3D print lab of my house. So there it is. I thank you guys for watching. Remember, you can find me on social media, on Facebook, where Nerdy is Cool, Instagram, where Nerdy is Cool, and we're also on Twitter, and of course, the website, where Nerdy is Cool .com. Thanks for watching, and remember, this is where nerdy is cool. Stay nerdy, guys. More soon.